Charles Leclerc is going to win from pole again and start the season off with celebrations for Ferrari. A one-two finish for the why Fred Vassar is the right man to lead Ferrari. Ferrari said on Tuesday that they had appointed Fred Vassar as their new team manager. Vassar takes over for Matteo Bonotto, who had been in the position for just over a year in a significant change for the Italian team. So who is Fred Vassar and why is he the right man to lead Ferrari? Let's talk about the man that might just change things forever for Ferrari. Vassar is first and foremost a highly skilled individual in the Formula One scene. Before eventually transitioning into team management, he began his career as a driver, competing in a variety of lower-level racing series. Vassar formerly worked with Renault and McLaren, two of the top teams in the sport. Needless to say, Vassar's resume is compelling to say the least. But maybe most significantly, Vassar and Charles Leclerc have a close bond. They both worked for the Sauber team when Leclerc was a driver and Vassure was the team's manager. Leclerc thrived under Vassure's direction, winning his first Formula One race in only his second season of competition, which is a big feat for any driver. Given that Leclerc is regarded as the team's future, this is important for Ferrari. After joining the Scuderia in 2019, he quickly rose to prominence, winning two races in his first campaign. Ferrari can be certain that their young star will continue to flourish and realize his full potential under Vassure's leadership. The relationship between a team principal and a driver can make all the difference when it comes to split-second decisions and team cohesion. In a sport as cutthroat as F1, it's no surprise that drivers look to develop meaningful relationships with the only person they don't have to compete with. However, Vassure's friendship with Leclerc is only one of the factors that make him a suitable fit for Ferrari. Additionally, he has a track record of achievement in Formula One. He assisted in leading the Renault team to fourth place in the Constructors' Championship during his tenure as team principal. Leclerc scored Sauber's first points of the season and he helped the team to their highest results in more than 10 years. Vassure brings to Ferrari not just his expertise and achievements in the field, but also a new perspective on things. His reputation as a perceptive strategist and being open to taking risks in order to succeed sets him apart from many team principles. Due to the team's difficulties keeping up with Mercedes and Red Bull, Ferrari can thank the heavens for this new look on things. This sort of approach is in stark contrast to Matteo Bonotto's relatively defensive style of team management. We can't forget when he clearly stated that the team's goal was not to win the driver championship during the 2022 season. It looks like that didn't quite sit well with everyone, especially not the bosses at Ferrari who probably wanted a risk taker for the role, a trait that matches the Scudera reputation. Vassier's hiring is a clear sign that Ferrari wants to upend everything and return to the top of the sport. The team has not placed first in the constructors' standing since 2008, and in the 2020 season, they came in third place. They will be looking to launch a significant bid for the title in the upcoming years with Vassure at the helm. Given the team's recent struggles, Ferrari desperately needed a change in management. Ferrari has not won a constructor's title since 2008, despite being one of the most recognizable and successful teams in Formula One. They came in third place in the 2020 season, well behind Mercedes and Red Bull. Ferrari has struggled with technical problems and internal conflicts in addition to their dismal performance on the track. These problems have impeded the group's advancement and contributed to their current lack of success. Vassure's appointment does not come without difficulties, though. Ferrari is a team that places a high value on success, so he will be under pressure to produce results fast. Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, who are teammates, have a difficult relationship that he will also need to navigate because of their history of on-track arguments. Vassure is certain that he can assist Ferrari in returning to the top despite these difficulties. He stated in a statement, I am very proud to join Scudera Ferrari as the team principal. It is a great honor and a huge responsibility. I am ready to take on this challenge and I am confident that together we can achieve great things. Whether or not Vassure can keep his word and lead Ferrari back to the top of Formula One, only time will tell. 
but he is undoubtedly a great candidate for the position given his expertise, successes, and new outlook. Vashir's hiring represents a big shift for Formula One as a whole, as well as for Ferrari. Ferrari's success is essential to the overall health of Formula One because they are one of the most recognizable teams in the sport. Vashir is leading the team, which is prepared to make a comeback and once more contend for the championship. To turn things around for Ferrari, however, Vashir will have to move quickly. Recent years have been difficult for the team as their advancement has been hampered by subpar performances and technical difficulties. Vashur must deal with these problems and figure out how to raise the team's performance on the track. Managing the friendship between Leclerc and Saints is one of the major difficulties Vashir will encounter, as we mentioned earlier. The task of making the two drivers cooperate as a team will fall to Vashur because the two have engaged in their fair share of on-track conflicts. Since both drivers are fierce competitors and have their sights set on the title, this one won't be a simple feat. Vashir, though, has experience overseeing prominent drivers. He was able to successfully lead Renault through several trying periods during his tenure there, including the departure of top driver Fernando Alonso. Vashir will be well equipped to handle the difficulties involved in leading a team like Ferrari thanks to his experience and knowledge. Overall, Ferrari and Formula One as a whole will benefit from Vashir's selection as team principal. Vassier is well positioned to guide the team back to the top of the sport because of his demonstrated track record of success and his aptitude at managing well-known drivers. Only time will tell if he will live up to expectations, but for now, Ferrari's future is promising.